How you doing guys? It's Chris from Northland Bushcraft. Um, I'm out in the bush right now, just taking a break from hunting because nothing's going on. Um, got a couple requests as to what is I, I carry with uh, in the bush with me. Um, so I'm going to go through my kit load out that typically I will carry with me. And it's either in this pack right here or this pack right here. Um, depends what I'm doing, uh, how long I'm going to be out for, and so to, it'll dictate what I, which pack I carry. Predominantly, this is my main kit that I normally take out with me into the bush. So we'll go through what I've got. Um, it's not the end all be all. It's uh, my preferences as to what I want to use while I'm out in the bush, and I just. Uh, a lot of it's comfort for me, a lot of it's just ease of use, um, you know, so some people like the traditionalists may be a little bit offended, uh, like the lightweight backpackers, but, you know, it comes down to what your preferences are to carry. Uh, these are my preferences to carry, um, and it's always subject to change. Uh, you know, your kit's always evolving. You're either replacing things or moving things or omitting things. A lot of times, that what's what will happen is I'll omit uh, items out of the pack that I, you know I carry it and carry it and carry it and never use it. So, uh, so I end up pulling it out, and getting rid of it. So uh, give me a minute. I'll pull everything out, set it aside, and you know we'll go through what typically I carry in when I'm in the bush here. Uh, either be in it for just uh, puttering around and playing, or you know I'm out for the day, or if I want to just uh, hang out. And, spend the night in the bush um, stuff I do utilize and uh, you know it's just I find beneficial for for myself just for ease of use and ease of carry okay stick with me all right guys I've pulled everything out of the the, the kits so let's do a quick pan here what uh, typically is carried with with me on uh, on a hike or just puttering around in the bush. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's not a lot of kit by any means. There's some things that are, uh, just make things a little easier for you for comfort. And again, kit's a personal preference. Uh, there is no perfect kit. Um, everyone carries what they think is beneficial to them and that's the whole idea take out what you like what you uh, you know you're going to utilize um, so you're, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about EDCs or bug out bags or whatever you want to call it uh, you know some people are extremists about it they you know they're super super lightweight you know you only need five things others are overboard where they you know it's a 55 pound kit <clears throat> um, and that's just to, for their vehicle. Uh, you know, I I play with stuff that I'm gonna use every day. You know, whenever I go out in the bush, whether I'm hunting or I'm just out bushcrafting or I'm fishing or camping or whatever it may be. You know, it's stuff that I'm gonna carry with me. So it is lightweight. It's all functional. Um, it's all utilized. You know, so it's uh, it comes down to what your preference is. So I'm gonna pan up here a bit. I'm going to jump into frame, and we'll discuss some of the things I have here, okay? Make sure I can actually get myself on video at the same time. So bear with me here a second. Oh, assuming I'm in frame, uh, or am I cutting my head off? No, I cut my head off. Hang on. <laughs> a little better. Okay, I'm going to go through what you've seen in front of you. Um, a lot of this, 90% of this stuff is carried in the, my hip pack, okay? Um, so for obvious reasons, within the pack itself, uh, the three hanks of paracord. Let's sit at my butt here. You know, you're all aware of what you can do with paracord. Its uses, um, 
how handy it is, you know. And, uh, you know, it's actually not expensive stuff to get either. You know, so I've got Paracord everywhere uh, with me. So there's three Hanks right there. Okay. I do have a Ziploc bag with fire tinder stuff in there. You know, I got uh, an old medicine bottle. It's filled with uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. F film canister. It's stuffed with cotton. Right? And then some grease wood. You know, it just helps uh, get your fire going. Right. Here I got another tin. I call it sure fire. And all this stuff is is uh, fat wood shavings and one of these wet fire tinder things crushed right up and poured in there. So all I had to do is just take a little bit out, put it down, take the ferrocium rod to it and get a fire going. Okay. That's a little bit of the fire starting stuff I have. Um, I carry four of the matchbook sewing kits with me. You can find these anywhere, you know, hotels, dollar store, whatever. Um, you know, it comes with uh, some thread, needles, safety pins, uh, and a couple spare buttons. You know, they weigh nothing. They're good to have, just in case you need them. Okay. Um, waterproof matches. They're from Cuglins. To be honest with you, I think they're absolutely garbage. You know, because uh, they're not a strike anywhere match. If the uh, case gets wet, they're useless. They're absolutely completely garbage. They, you know, as soon as, as soon as this box gets wet or even damp, the striker is no good to you. You know, so as far as I'm concerned, these things are absolutely useless. They're, uh, you know, you're better off with a standard book of matches, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I prefer the uh, Strike Anywhere matches. Normally, I have a whack of them, but I've used them over the summertime camping with the, you know, the, the family. So those have been used. So I got to restock them. But, you know, I, I've got them in there. I keep them in the Ziploc bag to try and keep them dry. But push comes to shove, if I really had to have my choice, it would definitely be the Strike Anywhere matches. You know, dip them in a bit of paraffin wax, make them waterproof. Uh, and again, it doesn't matter if you, you know, whatever container you got them, with a striker, if it's wet, well, they Strike Anywhere, right? So you can do it off your zipper, you can do it off a rock, you know, your knife. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, these are garbage. You may not agree with me, you know, but this that's just my opinion. You know. uh, moving on. So disposable toothbrush, and this is the ones that got uh, the toothpaste built right in it. You push the handle forward, pushes up the, uh, the, the toothpaste, and you brush your teeth. Just for hygiene reasons, obviously. Okay. Um, you know, it's nice to have uh, clean teeth when you're in the bush. Um, carry a spork, you know, a little plastic spork, you know, homemade spoon, and then uh, stainless steel chow utensils, you know, they're all stacked together, fold into each other, carry that in my kit. Space blanket. Uh, let's see here. You'll notice I got some where it's a redundancy that I carry, okay? And you'll notice it with multi-tools, okay? The three of them right here. I also carry the Leatherman on my hip. Multi-tools are indispensable. They're great. They're a great tool. They're great to have because they, you can utilize them for all kinds of different things and, and projects that you may have. Uh, it just makes your life a hell of a lot easier when you have multi-tools. You can buy them really cheap. You know, this this one, for instance, um, it comes, you know, it's got the knife, it's got the saw, it's got scissors, can openers, but it also comes with the uh, little screwdriver set in it. You know, I think I paid like $12 for this thing. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars on on a multi tool. Go out and get one that's, you know, uh, relatively inexpensive, just to throw in your kit. That way you've got them. You know, they're, you know, you can beat the hell out of these things, even the cheap ones. You can beat the hell out of them and not worry too much about busting it. You know, it's not like you're going to be repairing your car when you're in the bush with one of these. So, for bushcrafting purposes or just being around out in the bush, you know, you don't need 
um, $160 Leatherman or Gerber or SOG or whatever other uh, tools that are out there. You know. So keep that in mind. You don't you don't have to go high price high end. Okay. Um, moving on, I Gary. I have my two knives. Okay, you've all seen my buck knife. Love this one. And then I've got the old tried and true bone handle knife. It's as old as I am. You know, I made a new sh leather sheath out of it, out of buckskin. Uh, this thing's indestructible. You can't kill it. It's razor sharp. You can shave with this. Um, you know, one of those knives you inherit down the road. I carry. I have a multitude of, of sharpening devices. Um, I got the big kits, which are at home. Uh, some are diamond, uh, the diamond stones. Others I use as a, a Lansky that attaches to the blade itself and sharpens. But what I carry with me is, you know, the old diamond honing stone. Okay, I carry this one. This is just the knockoff, the big chips out of the blades or, or burrs or whatever I may have. It's uh, dual-sided. But the, my favorite one, by all intents and purposes, is the uh, Lansky sharpener. Okay, this one's my favorite. You do uh, three passes on your blade with this thing, and it's back to a razor blade. Um, it's got the carbide cutters, which are reversible after you know a thousand uses. You just flip the carbide cutters over, and you're good to go again. It's like nine dollars. Um, durable plastic. It's a, it's a great tool for rapidly sharpening a knife because it takes uh, quick material off and brings you back to a razor sharp edge. <clears throat> and if I need to hone or uh, deburr a little bit better on my blades, I, well, I usually carry a, or have on me a leather belt. So you just take that off and just use it as a, to strope the, the blade. Or you can use a piece of mushroom uh, you know, or bracken that's out there to do it with. Um, I'm gonna check my time here. Bear with me because I'm gonna do it as clips as we go. Most of you that do the filming on this stuff, you know that you kind of got to break things up just for editing purposes. So hang on a sec. <laughs> 